Hello and welcome to today's session. My name is Paul Benyon. I'm one of the sales engineers at Hard Dollar Corporation. For today's session, we will be talking about the different ways that you're able to organize your estimate through a very powerful tool called grouping. This has many different uses to it, but it allows you to be able to report to management or for your clients uh, in the different ways that they need to see your estimate. <clears throat> by reorganizing things and also helps you to get better insight into different information about the estimate as well. So to get started, you'll notice that I have a column showing up here called cost source and I'm going to bring up an unhide another column. The way that I unhide is simply by right clicking in the column header area above, select column chooser and then it brings up a customization box. Inside of there are all of my hidden columns. We're going to go down to one of my custom columns called tag one. And you'll notice when I bring up this tag or label that I've already defined it uh, as different estimators that I have. And I've assigned uh, the different sections of my estimate out to each estimator that worked on it. This helps me to be able to see and either filter or group down to the, the particular estimators that worked on each part of the estimate. I also have the ability to change the captions on any of these column headers. So, for example, I can right click, say change caption, and we're going to actually call the name of this column estimator. Click OK, and now that's labeled appropriately. When I want to group, I simply can drag and drop that particular column by clicking on that column header and dragging it up into this grouping area up above, the gray area that you see. When I let go, it immediately takes all of my estimate and puts it into groups by that particular column. So you'll recall that the column was organized it had four different estimators that had been defined and applied to the different sections of the estimate. Well, it's now grouping by those sections. So under estimator one, for example, I see the first portion of the estimate that is assigned to him. Also, you'll notice that it subtotals any of the data. It will subtotal the costs. It will also subtotal things such as man hours and man count. This grouping capability goes beyond just grouping on one column. Perhaps for each estimator, I want to look at the source for their costs to see how much of the estimate they've just plugged an amount per unit, like this mobilization item, and how much has been actually detailed out with resources, as we see with clearing and grubbing. So I can select this cost source column, pull it up into the grouping area, and I now have it grouped by estimator and then under each estimator by cost source. So under estimator one, we see the detail and plug cost sources. It then totals up for me or subtotals the um, cost amount under each of those categories. So I have over a million dollars in detail and just 8,000 in plug. So we're clearly in good shape here for these items. When I want to clear my grouping, I simply right click up in this uh, grouping area and say clear grouping. I also can pull each one of those columns down back into the register if I'd like to. This is more of a civil kind of example. Let's take a look at one more example, more on the oil and gas and process kinds of industries. In this case, while I do have some civil work, if I collapse that down, I also have structural steel and a lot of process piping kind of information here. And the client that I work for has different work packages that the estimate will eventually be worked into. And I may end up performing just one work package at a time. For that reason, while I have organized my project here by discipline, I will also need to have it organized by work package. So once again, I can select my grouping item, pull it up into the grouping area, and I now have everything organized by work package. And we see I have two main work packages that I've assigned so far. 
101.03 and 101.04, it subtotals those items. I can further group by discipline and now take advantage of each looking at each work package and the different disciplines that are involved in, e in each of those work packages. Once again, it's subtotaling all the information and gives me the ability to pull it down into more detail. As far as output for this kind of information, if I need to run a report, I can simply uh, click on my print preview option here. It will give me various options for output. You'll notice that it brings it up in the same kind of format that I had on my view in the register. That view will display here, and then I have a lot of tools at my disposal, like page setup where I can adjust the margins, the fonts, the font sizes. I can also add headers and footers, put my company logo on there. I can also uh, add a watermark onto uh, the report if needed. So a lot of different options, a lot of different settings to get this to have the look and feel that I like. So this ability of grouping really assists me in configuring different reports the way that I need them to be. So this wraps up the session for using grouping to be able to reorganize your estimate and report on your estimate in ways that are helpful for management, for your client, and also to be able to help you get the insight you need into your project information. So we will see you next session.